good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE slash horror action figure set up for you guys. As you guys can see, the whole backstage area is full. We got a brand new setup for you guys. If you guys did not know, WWE Extreme Rules is coming up on this Sunday, and they have a special twist. There's a little extra tagline there called WWE Extreme Rules horror show. Is that what it's called? Let me look that ish up. Yeah, Extreme Rules The Horror Show, or Horror Show. And so that got me thinking, Brad, we gotta add some horror action figures in this thing so you guys can see. We got all the different characters, all the icons featured here today. We're gonna take you guys through it. I'm excited. These are the funnest setups to do when you can incorporate some horror. It fit into the WWE theme, guys, so I have Extreme Rules and horror icons filled in here. So let's go ahead and get started with our setup, starting off on the left side. So starting on the left side, guys, we do have the WWE champion Drew McIntyre hitting a Claymore kick slash big boot. You know, it's not completely a Claymore kick, but it is a big boot slash Claymore kick to Jason Voorhees. Getting slapped right in the titties, right in the jaw with the machete in hand. I'm guessing he's not going to be holding on to that too much longer, but he is going to get hit with the Claymore kick right there. Or he did not. He is going to get hit. He is getting hit with the Claymore kick right in the jaw, and I guess this can be for the director of Freddy vs. Jason, who did not cast Kane Hodder as Jason Voorhees. This is what you get, sir. But there is the WWE Champion set to defend his championship against none other than Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph Ziggler's back here. My boy Dolph Ziggler in the all black right here. Super kicking Chucky. And he's got uh, Chucky's head kicked off. So he kicked Chucky's head off with a beautiful super kick from Dolph Ziggler. Who's going to walk out of the extreme rules of the WWE Championship? I have my money on Drew McIntyre, even though I'm going to be going hard for my boy Dolph Ziggler back here. Which one's better? You, you like the super kick with the head, you know, slap off the shoulders? Or do you like the Claymore kick to Jason Boyd? he's uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go super kick on this one. Roll forward a little bit, guys. We do have Akira Tozawa, and I know he doesn't have a really a match at Extreme Rules, but I figured what better guy than to be laying on the stretcher, and I didn't want to put R-Truth, the 24-7 champion, on the stretcher getting chopped in half by Jason, so I went with Akira Tozawa getting strapped down on the stretcher with Jason Voorhees coming down with the machete about to uh, probably cut this man in dead half. So there we go. We got Jason Voorhees from part 7. Kane Hodder, machete over the head, about to take out Akira Tozawa. This is my favorite part of the setup right here, guys. Coming forward, we have the Monday Night Messiah and Buddy Murphy holding Rey Mysterio. You guys already know the eye for an eye match. Seth Rollins has a legit hammer in his hand and he has bludgeoned out the eye of Rey Mysterio. Now, we already know that Rey Mysterio's eye got gouged a little bit already on the steel steps, but this takes it to a whole nother level, Brad. Look at that right there. The eye of Rey Mysterio has been bludgeoned out and the blood is leaking from it with the hammer. Seth Rollins knows no bounds and Buddy Murphy seems like he's in on it too. I know on Monday Night Raw he seemed a little bit hesitant about removing Rey Mysterio's eye, but here he looks all the way in. Hammer fits perfectly in hand. Seth Rollins is going right at Rey Mysterio. I am ready for this match at Extreme Rules. I think it's probably going to be match of the night. If not, you know, it's going to be up there for sure. I'm ready for the Monday Night Messiah to rid, sac you know, he's going to get the sacrifice in on Rey Mysterio. I guess that's how it's going to go, but uh, this is definitely my favorite part of the setup, man. I like to get, you know, really, really detailed with it, and I don't you can get more detail than that, Brad. The hammer is into the eye socket, and it is bleeding profusely. We go back a little bit, guys. I thought this was quite creative. We have Freddy Krueger, and he basically is using his mind control. I guess Bobby Lashley fell asleep while doing bench press and he woke up to all this weight crushing his throat so we got Freddy Krueger crushing the throat of Bobby Lashley or Bobby Trashley he got your trash can over here to the side for him but Bobby Trashley is getting his throat squashed by uh, Freddy Krueger dropping the barbell weight on his throat there pretty pretty sinister Bobby Lashley trying to reach for air that is that is not there reaching for air that is not there that rhymed unintentional. But Freddy Krueger is crushing Bobby Trashley, so I figured that was pretty good. Bobby Trashley doesn't have a match, but his protege does, which we'll get into later. Right here, we have two horror icons, right? We got uh, the Fiend Bray Wyatt, and then on the other side, we have Pennywise the Clown, the first version, so we have both of these guys staring at each other. I thought this would be pretty interesting to see. Mask versus versus face paint, I guess, here, but I thought that would be a pretty cool shot. Both of them, uh, the Fiend pretty much saying, you know, bring it on Brad, and Pennywise is just laughing in his face, saying, you're, you're not too special. You're yourself there, but I saw you at Hell in a Cell versus Seth Rollins. So there we go. We got Pennywise and The Fiend dueling off. I thought that was pretty good right there between these two guys, and I wanted to incorporate The Fiend in there. I, I had to. Even if we get Bray Wyatt versus Braun, I wanted The Fiend in here, and I wanted to represent The Fiend in the setup, so I went with Fiend versus Pennywise right there. We come to the right a little bit, guys. We will have Michael Myers, as you guys can see, and he's got Bailey, the SmackDown Women's Champion at knife point, uh, about to slit her throat there, but she does have help. She does have 
have helped. She has Asuka, Sasha, and Nikki Cross all, you know, putting their differences aside. I know Asuka is taking on Sasha Banks. Bailey is taking on Nikki Cross, but the ladies got to stick together here, and they're about to maul Michael Myers together and try to take him out before it is too late with Bailey. So I know that they are the uh, women's tag team champions, Bailey and Sasha, and they're used to working together, but now they got Asuka and Nikki Cross on their side about to jump uh, Mike, uh, Michael Myers before it is too late. So they better get in there, Brad, because it's looking like they're running out of precious time. If we come forward a little bit, guys, another one of my favorite parts of the setup is got to be Randy Orton delivering an RKO to Pennywise. Oh my God. Freddy Krueger just fell and he put Bobby Trashley through the bench and then uh, Seth Rollins fell right there but the ha and the hammer fell. So there we go. Maybe we can get a better shot of this eye socket real quick. There you go. That is just lovely. But over here, I don't know if you guys can see from this angle. Maybe I can angle a little bit and see if we can get... Yeah, there we go. Look at look at Pennywise's face. It looks like he's getting RKO'd. Like he legit, like legitimately looks like he just got shocked out of nowhere. I think that is hilarious and I think that fits in perfectly. So Pennywise is completely shocked, getting RKO'd out of nowhere, taking him to Viperville right there and uh, Randy Orton looks good. I wanted to suspend, you know, suspend him in midair but that would not work out with the RKO. I'd have to get a string attached and attach it to this lamp up here and I'm, yeah, you, you get the idea. Randy Orton with the RKO on Pennywise. We come a little bit later, guys. We got another version of Jason Voorhees, and he's taking the knockout punch from Big Show. Now, we know that Randy Orton is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Big Show in an unsanctioned match on Monday Night Raw next week. Not Extreme Rules. I thought for sure the match would be on Extreme Rules, but I wanted to feature the Big Show. I wanted to get that big fist in here to see if, uh, you know, what he would do in the setup, and he knocked out Jason Voorhees. Now, I don't know how well it's going to go. You know, uh, he could, get, you know, retaliate with this axe right here and take out Big Show, but... For now, Big Show's getting a big fist in there. It doesn't matter what happens right here because I think Randy Orton's going to punt his head off, but let's move on, guys. Over here, we have Hellraiser. Now, this is the first time Hellraiser's been featured in any setup, so we're bringing him in here for the Extreme Rules Horror Show, and Hellraiser has these weights. You guys can see MVP's head is on the weights right there, and he has his own weight, so this is a lot of weight right here. That would absolutely, I don't know, it, it, it would probably be pretty close. It would definitely break your skull. It would fracture your skull. Now, I'm not sure if it would completely crack crush your head, but it would definitely make a huge dent and you would have a fractured skull. So Hellraiser is uh, getting pretty plentiful there. And you know, the United States Champion Apollo Crews, I doubt he would do this in real life. He would definitely help MVP regardless of their issues and their differences. But Apollo Crews is just going to take his US title and smile about it. But Apollo Crews is going to chill uh, chill out and just smile and watch it take place, I guess, because that is his opponent Extreme Rules and he's not going to be, you know, he wants to retain that US Championship, so he's just going to chill out and take it. And just, you know, sit back in the sands and watch. I don't think I'd be that close, though, if I was just going to watch. I think I'd be definitely much more farther away. We come forward a little bit, guys. We have Leatherface and Braun Strowman dueling right here. Now, we know the Universal Championship is on the line at Extreme Rules between Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman, but Leatherface is trying to take him out before he gets there, Brad. He's got the uh, he's got the chainsaw right there. Braun Strowman's screaming in agony, trying to fight off Leatherface. Now, I think Braun Strowman's definitely stronger than Leatherface. I actually think that Braun Strowman could probably smash Leatherface you know, in a wrestling match, in a fight, I think Braun Strowman would uh, would dominate. I think he'd be a monster among men for sure, and he would probably yank that chainsaw out of his hands and turn it onto Leatherface. But I didn't want to give too much power to either man, so I got both of them dueling right there with the chainsaw in hand. So Leatherface versus Braun Strowman, who you got down in the comment section below. After that, guys, we come forward. We have Pennywise holding a balloon. Now, he's not doing much, guys. He's just chilling out, holding the balloon, nothing too, too sporadic. But if you go up a little bit, you will see my boy Kevin Owens, who does not have a match at Extreme Rules. Probably going to be involved in the I for an eye match with Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio. But uh, in the setup, he doesn't have a matchup, so he's just going to take out Pennywise down below. And I think at the end of the setup, I'm going to have him frog splash onto Pennywise just because that's what we like to do in the setups. At the end, we like to get a little live action going. So Kevin Owens will be coming down hard onto Pennywise. And to finish off our setup, guys, we do have Aleister Black trying to fight off this Pennywise. Couldn't get the foot high enough for a black mass, so I guess it's just like a black mass chest kick, which definitely is not near as effective, but... This Pennywise has like a rail through his head, so I think uh, he's kind of incapacitated for the moment. 
But uh, that pretty much was the setup. That was the last part of the setup. I wanted to incorporate more, but I thought this was pretty good. I, I like everything. My favorite part, again, has to be the Rey Mysterio eye for an eye, hammer in the eye. I know it's pretty crazy, but I think they're going to get kind of crazy for that match. I heard that we're going to get some CGI to actually show somebody's eye coming out. I think it could be Rollins, but who knows? It may write him off TV for a little bit, but I don't know how well Raw would do without the Monday Night Messiah. And, you know, that gimmick's been running pretty strong, so we'll have to see, but... Let's go ahead and let Kevin Owens dive off of this with a frog splash onto Pennywise real quick. All right, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens coming off the top onto Pennywise, and he takes him out and takes out Leatherface. So he helps out Braun Strowman. Kevin Owens takes out Pennywise at the same time helping Braun Strowman with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens coming off the top on the But that pretty much does it for my setup, guys. What do you guys think about the setup? You guys seem to like the horror action figure setup, especially mixing it in with WWE. I would love to know everything down in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Who's your pick for Extreme Rules? Probably predictions coming tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for that. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the setup down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Eye for an eye, Brad. Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, coming off the top one.